Hi, Lee Ellis here again with this month's Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, we hear a lot lately about millennials. In the magazines and articles that I read, I'm reading about millennials in the workplace and how in many ways they're very different from previous generations. But I've also read a lot of research recently that shows that actually, aside from some of their behaviors and personality uh, quirks of the modern culture, they're really very similar to previous generations. They want about the same things at work that people have always wanted. They want to be valued and appreciated. They want to be included. They want to be listened to. They want to work for leadership that's honorable and has integrity and character and that cares about them. So it really comes down to the same thing we've always had, that leaders need to have character. They need to be mission focused and they need to take care of the people. And when that happens, regardless of the generations, we usually get good results. That's why we at Leading with Honor always maintain that focus toward character and then results and then taking care of the people, relationships. Well, one of the things that we do know is that millennials now make up 40% of the workforce. And last year, they made up one-third of all the new managers. So millennials are out there and they're coming fast. One of the reasons they're being promoted so quickly into management is that the boomers are retiring. They say they're retiring at 10,000 people a day. You know, that's a lot of folks retiring, leaving the workforce, and they've got to be replaced. And Gen X is fairly small. There's not a big population in Gen X. So we're having to reach down to the millennials. My concern, and I know many of you are concerned, that they're really not developed and ready to go to be leaders in the workplace. And so the responsibility for that really falls on the organization and the current leaders. So my proposition is leaders developing leaders. Along the same time that we're seeing this with millennials, we're hearing a lot about employee engagement. Employee engagement shows that somewhere around 16 to 20 percent are completely actively disengaged and about 50 percent are not uh, completely engaged and about one third are actively engaged. So employee engagement also needs some work. Well, it turns out that the same things that millennials want in terms of being inspired to engage are the same things that Everybody else wants to be valued, to be listened to, to be included, to be collaborated with, to have some flexibility. Everybody wants those kind of things. So the good news is if you really go about developing your millennials, you're developing everybody really at the same time in the same way. It's a very powerful thing to happen because not only that, if the leaders are leading this development, they're growing and the whole team is growing. So the the message for this month is leaders developing leaders. And when you do that, the leader, current leader, takes on the responsibility for developing his or her people. That leader's growing and everybody on the team is growing. Now, the interesting thing is what we're saying is it's a collaborative type of leadership that's so important today. And that you must connect with your people so they know they're valued, they're listened to, they're cared for, but they're also collaborated with. And I've seen organizations that are really flourishing with this by putting some of the junior people, some of the young millennials, actually leading some of the development. They they take responsibility when they're given that responsibility. They're being creative in it. And so the leader is actually learning as the millennials are actually developing the whole group and everybody's developing together. So it's like we're all in this together. And that's very powerful. And when the leader and the team all grows together, the team grows, the organization grows, productivity goes up, employee engagement goes up, and it makes for a much better organization. You also get greater customer engagement when you have employee engagement. So leaders developing leaders, you're mining the gold that's in those millennials. They have some great talents out there. Bring into to the table, bring into to the organization. Celebrate that through collaborative leadership. Get them involved. Not so much on the authoritarian part. You use your power when you have to, but that's a secondary tool in today's workplace. You're leading through collaboration, through communication, through connecting with their hearts, through connecting with who they are individually by their DNA behavior, and that is so powerful. Now, my most recent book, Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability, really focused on this whole idea of leaders, 
developing leaders. It puts a responsibility on the immediate leader, and when you do that, it's amazing what can happen in the organization and how people can be developed, and everybody enjoys it along the way. Well, I hope you'll consider Leaders Developing Leaders and give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Well, until next month, this is Lee Ellis with your Leading with Honor Coaching, and have a great month.